government of St. Kitts and Nevis is spending millions to upgrade sporting facilities across the island, including the Kim Collins Athletic Stadium, the Connery Playing Field, and the Atiba Harris Sporting Complex. The Ministry of Sport has said that protecting that investment will be equally important. At the National Town Hall on Tuesday, Minister of Sport, Honorable Samuel Duggins, said maintenance and care for the facilities is an ongoing issue and new strategies will be rolled out to address this. There are a number of clubs that use them predominantly, some of the facilities, and we are looking to see how we can instruct them to take more care. Um, one of the other things that we are doing uh, would be assigning staff members um, beyond the usual eight to four working hours who can assist with the care of these facilities going down into the evening. And so we are piloting that at the moment, and I think we've um, that should bring some success. Other strategies including terms of use policy documents and greater community ownership are detailed in the National Sports Policy 2022 to 2026. One of the initiatives calls for the creation of an online booking system that will help to structure the use of sports facilities and record breaches of property or other damages.